Well, hello there folks and welcome back to the declutter challenge. We are in my kitchen and we are tackling day eight. Um, we've got a couple of things in this video coming up, but we're going to start here. And the way the plumbing is done here just makes no sense to me. But um, anyway, we're going to try to optimize this space and get rid of a few things that we can probably get rid of all together and all that don't really live here. If we haven't met before, but by the way, my name is Emmy. I run this uh, declutter and simplify organization channel. And I also have another channel for meal planning and meal prepping if you like that kind of stuff. So check out the link in the description below if you like that kind of stuff. You will also see my cat Lumi in this video. She is always interested when things are happening. Um, and so we've emptied it out. It's pretty grubby. The cat obviously needs to help out, so I am just going to gently nudge her out of the way and give this a really good wipe down with just um, microfiber cloth with some water on it. And here is a bunch of stuff. Uh, this container I use for garden compost type stuff that I um, compost myself, and then we have a green bin in my council for other kind of organic waste. We've got some gloves and sponges and things like that. I've got some insect spray that should probably not be in the kitchen. Um, by the way, this nifty thing I recently got to hang dishcloths on. It's really, really handy. I'll try and find the link on Amazon for it. I really loved having it. Anyway, back to the stuff we've got under here. So we've got dish soap, um, cloths, tea towels, um, and some garbage bags and some bags for the green bin. Now, I am going to organize this other cupboard that I'm peeking into uh, shortly. You'll see that in a few minutes. But I do have a couple of cleaning related items. <laughs> Lumi loves helping me. These are sort of oven cleaning products that should be living in the kitchen, not in my big cleaning cupboard downstairs. Um, the insect spray is going to go somewhere else, however. So I'm just trying to work with what I've got here. And believe me, I have tried moving this shelf up and down. It is just a super awkward space. For my microfiber kitchen cloths, I have um, orange and green that are only ever used in the kitchen and other colors that I use elsewhere in the house for cleaning. Um, I also bought some new tea towels um, because I realized after decluttering those the other week that I actually need some new ones. Um, these black garbage bags I'm taking somewhere else because they don't really, we don't really use that very large size in the kitchen very often. And um, then we've got the bin for the green waste for the council and then the things that I can compost myself and the trash bags as well. So not a huge change perhaps, but um, I think it turned out pretty good. So we've got um, my sponges there, pretty easy to get to, dishwashing gloves and that sort of stuff in there, the scouring pad. Um, behind there I've got my uh, cleaning stuff for, the, for my stovetop. Um, dishwashing tablets. I normally just rip the um, lid off these type of containers because it just makes it a little bit easier to get to them. So not a major declutter here but two things are moving to the garage. And now we're going to look into my utility drawer. Um, I actually use this language deliberately because some people call it a junk drawer and a viewer uh, a while back uh, recommended to think of it as a utility drawer instead. So I'm training my brain to do that. Um, we're also going to tackle this cabinet under here, which is a random catch all for things like cat food. Uh, this is very close to her feeding station, um, along with some random bits and bobs. But we are going to start in the utility drawer. And I don't know with you, but this drawer in our house is always the worst. There are plastic bags, there are random things that I just don't really know where to put because, you know, every every house needs a drawer like this that has random things that you use and need. Um, so in my case, we've got batteries, we've got plastic bags, we've got things like food storage um, baggies. And um, you obviously do want to keep your batteries um, sort of separated from other things. But I realized that this packaging was taking up an awful lot of space. So what I did instead is just to um, cut away any packaging that wasn't necessary and uh, contain that a little bit better. I've got um, clips as well for different types of bags and things. My sewing kit. Don't really know why it's in there, but I've always kept my sewing kit there. Where do you keep yours? Let me know below. Um, so I've got a couple of different types of bags here. These are um, bread bags for um, sort of a wrap kind of Lebanese bread thing that we like to use for pizza bases. Um, 
So yeah, just going through finding even more bags. Um, so I'm using a beer cozy actually <laughs> to hold all that together. Um, but it's uh, now empty and the cat obviously does want to help me out um, to check it out. She always does. I had dinner going in the background at the same time as well. So this was all very exciting for her. But got a couple of older manuals, but realizing that I don't really need all of them. Um, there are two, however, that we use on the regular. So um, just tidying this up a little bit and putting things away. And remember, it's fine if areas like this do get cluttered over time. So this is how it turned out. I've got my batteries, I've got my baggies, um, I've got my cute little cat helper. And um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I am under no illusion that it will stay like this forever, by the way. So if that's the case in your house, that's fine. So a couple of manuals and a bit of rubbish. I've got dinner cooking there in the background at the same time. Now, don't, please don't throw your batteries in the trash. Take them to be recycled. There's a lot of chemicals in batteries, so don't throw them in the bin. So just emptying the things out, my cat Lumi will be very helpful here. She, um, this is all her food, snack, um, toy things. So she is very helpful for this particular chapter, as you can see. I know for a fact in this box that we've got some old medication from our um, old cat who sadly passed away. So I might be able to get rid of a few things there. We've got some light globes, which will be rehomed to the garage because we've changed light globes, so we don't really need those anymore, but they still work. We've got some cat toys. And I think one really good thing, both when it comes to pets and kids, is to go through the toys on a regular and either like rotate them out, which I do have always done with my pets. Um, also checking expiration dates here, by the way, on some products that we can throw away. But um, basically, if you've got toys that you put away for a while and you take them back out and you're, um, you know, in this instance, Lumi was not interested in them at all. So, um, yeah, I just ended up getting rid of them. I also had a couple of like toothbrush type things and, you know, brushes and she's only six months old. So we're getting her used to the brushing, found some random screws um, and quite a few manuals and things like that from... Um, when this house was built. So I feel like a lot of this probably doesn't need to live in the kitchen, even though we need to keep hold of it. So I'm just straightening up and putting her, <laughs> hi Lumi, putting her things away and uh, putting her food and everything in the, in the one place. So this is working really well and this bottom shelf is just gonna be her stuff, which I think will work well. And the relocation pile is growing here with some screws and light bulbs that are going down to the garage. Here is stuff that's going straight in the trash, some old medication and toys she no longer plays with, etc. That's going in the bin. Um, and I went through this off camera and got rid of about a third of these manuals that we actually don't need and check them in the recycling. So a pretty big pile going here. And as you might recall as well, we are rehoming a few things, including this bug spray and these trash bags are going into the garage and a few other things that are going into trash and recycling. So very happy to see these things go. Uh, remember to recycle your batteries. Also, let me know in the comments if you've been decluttering with me. Looking forward to see you in the next video.